camera on like a lean. Whoa. Good morning, my loves. Today, I thought I would try out that viral hack on TikTok. It's like the new way to do your blush and foundation, right? So basically, like, packing on blush first, putting the foundation on top, a few other things, and it's supposed to give you this really flawless, like, blushy, beautiful, blended look. I don't know, I don't really know what the point is. I haven't tried it yet, although I have to say it looked kind of similar to the way Scott Barnes does his makeup. Do you guys remember when I followed his tutorial? I'll link the video down below. It was such a fun video. I want to do some more of them, but it reminds me a little bit of that. Um, but hey, we're going to try it. I do have a TikTok example to insert into the video now, actually a couple. So let me pop them in, have a browse. You can see what we're talking about and what we're working with. <laughs> So some people use liquid blush, some people use creamy lipstick, like a bullet lipstick. I'm not sure what I'll do today. All I know is it needs to be quite intense and quite dramatic because when you're putting the foundation on top, it needs to still peek through. So I might follow like this one a little bit more. I really like the way hers came out. The other girls looked amazing as well, but I don't know. I love this kind of vibe and I might have some fun with my makeup today. We might do something really bold because I've done heaps of looks similar to that recently with like a really soft brown eye. So let's jump in. By the way, thank you for the feedback on my recent videos, like the Charlotte Tilbury video and all of those, like the makeup looks I've done. You guys have been so nice. Like everyone's like, oh my God, this is my favorite makeup tutorial ever. So I'm happy you guys are enjoying that really like beautiful blended eye look lately. Like I'm so into it. It's like my go-to. But yeah, today I'm going to try something bold. Also, first video properly with my new hair. So blonde. You can see it's so much better hair. I'm so stoked for that. And I have my green smoothie. I'm going to take a, wait, what's, what's the phrase? Stab in the dark? Take a stab in the dark? Yeah? Yeah. I guess. I'm gonna assume that they did prime. I don't know if they primed or not, but I'm going to. First, I'm just using a little bit of this though over a few bits of congestion. It's that time of the month for me. My breakouts are controlled so much better than normal because my skincare, my Ugaia, all of it's on point and I just break out less at the moment. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I've just got a few little like inflamed spots so that should keep it under control. I love this stuff. It's so good. The Ofra Blemish Treatment Cream, I'll put it below with a discount code for you guys. This will last you for ever. It's got, I think, benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid and lactic acid, which are like heaps of my favorite ingredients. It's got aloe vera powder, rosemary oil, um, heaps of cool stuff. So love that. I might go on with a quick spritz of my Toucha Dewy Skin Mist just to aid the blending because I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm feeling a little bit parched today. I drank stuff all water yesterday because I had my hair appointment. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel really weird and anxious when I have to ask to use the bathroom. And so like in the morning, I just drank like nothing. Like I drank some water at the gym, but then I was like, oh, I can't drink water because I'll need to pee while I'm at my hair appointment. I have foils in my hair and it'll be awkward and awful. I don't know why I'm like this. So I'm like, I'm just not going to drink anything. And then like by the end of it, because it took hours, it was like five o'clock and I was like, I'm busting. Got home and then kind of like drank a little bit of water, but not enough. I had like a tea. So like today I'm feeling dehydrated is basically the point of the story <laughs> so I'm just gonna add some extra moisture to my skin used a nice heavy um what's it called moisturizer this morning and I've drunk so much water today already I've already drunk a whole one of these and I've got another one here with my guy in it that I'm gonna finish by the end of this film I'm going to use a little bit of my C plus coral grass tinted primer SPF 45 by MAC I love this it's so bomb it just makes your skin look amazing I haven't used it in a little while 
it feels so soft. Also, I bought some more stuff off Yes Style, which I'm really excited about because you guys loved my last Kid Beauty video, so I'm gonna do another one. And I bought some really cool cream blushes from there too, because I'm just loving creams at the moment. So this video is like really up my alley right now. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I wonder what this one's like, because this is a K-Beauty one. I bought some more colors in it. <laughs> But I haven't even tried this one yet, but I just love the look of them. Um, and I want to see if it's going to be opaque enough. Because I do have some cool ones by Maybelline and stuff too, but they are quite sheer. And I feel like for this look, everyone uses something that's like bright and bold and opaque. So let me just test this on my hand. It is called the Pep Balm Fingertip. And it's in the shade 4, made in Korea. And it, it's so cute. It says, become happy with a simple dab for vibrant and lively moments. If only life was that simple. The packaging is just like, I don't know, I love the packaging so much. I think it's so cool. So I'm just gonna take a small amount of this. The color looks real cool. It's like this burnt orangey color. Let's see how opaque it is. Mm, I feel like it's not as opaque as we need. Could I just build it up perhaps? Or I know for a fact my Fenty one is like ridiculous. I have one called Daiquiri and it is so bright. So she applies it from here all the way up here across the nose a little bit up here so i'm going to take like i said the fenty beauty cream blush it's called cheeks out and daiquiri dip and wait till you see it if i can open it Ugh. i've used this a few times and you can like really just use a small amount and it looks stunning but it is pigmented it is intense i'll show you i'm going to use a concealer brush big so beauty load up my brush a bit so yeah so I'm kind of nervous for this, um, but I'm just going to apply it where like everyone else seems to apply it. I'm sure like some people do it slightly differently, but this is just exactly what like the videos I looked at this morning did. All right, so I think this is pretty good. I'm just spreading it out a little bit. I do have a sponge here, but I'm just using the brush first. It looked like a superhero. It's a vibe. Actually, I'm going to use a brush because most people seem to use a brush to blend it out. So I'm going to use an angled face brush. Just kind of tap it to blend it. It's going to go all my hairline. Like, how's that going to work? If I put on too much, like, is that possible? I think it is possible, but I don't know. And, like, in my mind, all that's going to happen is, like, the foundation will just mix together with the blush. Like, am I missing something here? Damn, girl! You're looking good. Okay, and now she just applies a, this is interesting, this person in particular, okay, so I've seen a few different versions, like some people just take their foundation shade, go all over, you know, like normal, whereas this girl seems to put a darker foundation over top and around her forehead, down her nose, then conceals and then uses a different foundation for the rest, so should we try it this way? I reckon. This is one of the most reposted ones I've seen. Taking quite a liquidy foundation, hers looks kind of liquidy I guess. This is the YSL La Tint to Chiclet in the shade BD50, which is like a shade or two darker than what I normally wear. And I'm just going to take, I guess, how much is that, like a pump and a half? I'm going to blend that where she put it, so it was like around her forehead, over the top of the blush, and down her nose. So far, it's looking kind of okay, I guess. I still feel like the equivalent of hers is a little bit darker than this, but this is like my darkest foundation. Maybe she's using like a contour. Do you reckon? Kind of, now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like a contour. All right, so I don't want to go overboard blending because I feel like otherwise I'm just going to blend away the blush. Let me darken this so you can see a bit better. I feel like I've got blush in my hairline, which is very handy as well. Okay, so next up, it kind of looks somewhat like this. I feel like, yeah, maybe she's using contour, but we'll just wing it this way. I've seen other people just do foundation, so we'll just stick with foundations for now. We'll see how it comes out in the end. But then she's taking quite a bright under eye concealer next, and she's applying it just all the way across and up towards her like eyebrows. So I'm gonna take light sand, tart shape tape, I'm going to try not to apply too much since it does go a really long way, but I still want to apply it like to the same area she is. Looks kind of like that. And then she also has it like this. So I'm going to blend that. I'm not sold on how this is looking so far. 
Next up she looks like she's just going in with a regular like close to her shade kind of foundation. So let's go back in with my Too Chiclet Le Tint. Wait, is this the same thing maybe? Maybe this is why I'm confused. Are these the same and it's just repackaged? I'm using the shade BD30 this time. Yeah, it's got the same name. This must be the one. What's the other one I used to use? Fusion Ink. I've cracked the code. I've been wrong this whole time. For the last like three videos I've been saying that, but hey, love this foundation too. So I guess this is the new packaging. Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna go for a pump on each side and gently just blend this over the rest of my face. So center of the forehead and this area and this area close to my nose. Honestly, all that I feel like's happened is I feel like my forehead looks so orange. And I feel like you can barely even see where the blush was. <laughs> Maybe I need to try it again with lipstick because I feel like it wouldn't blend out so much. Like I feel like the Fenty is just too blendable and it just like like dissolved. Like you can definitely still see it under there. And it's very natural, which is pretty. I don't know, I guess I just feel like it's a lot of effort for something like you could just do in reverse. You could just do your cream blush afterwards, like normal. And I feel like I have a lot of makeup on right now. And I haven't even like powdered. Okay, next up she like bakes under her eyes and then just continues with her makeup. She looks fire. Amazing, 10 out of 10. So I'm gonna use my go-to, like the only powder I seem to be able to successfully really bake with, the Magic Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. You guys are gonna get sick of me talking about friggin' Charlotte Tilbury, aren't you? And just going in the same area she is. And then yeah, then she just seems to like do everything else like normal, so let's just set the rest with like a pressed powder. I'm just gonna use this one because it's right here. It's my Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix powder in the shade, <clears throat> my voice, <laughs> where's the gum? 40 WY. I'm just using a small touch of this on this giant brush that is not even meant for powdering your face by Huda Beauty. Yeah, I just feel like I've gone orange around my forehead and my cheeks and it's just like in my hairline. Like, I don't know, am I missing something? Once we dust away under our eyes, I'm gonna use some more of that dewy setting mist. Okay, hear me out, but this makeup look is so cool. But I might do it slightly different because I don't think I can pull it off like that dramatic, but I'm gonna be like inspired, okay? Inspired by this vibe. So on top of that Fenty cream blush, I'm going to add a little bit of a soft pink. Or actually, no, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Tom Ford Flash. And I'm just going to add that to my cheese because honestly like half the blush is gone like it's natural I guess that's the vibe but kind of going over the same areas where we applied the cream and just blending it real well and kind of blending away the under eye powder too now let's add some bronzer I'm gonna use the same brush I'm gonna use my sweetheart bronzer by Too Faced using the touch mist why is the lighting so shitty today healthy layer of that just to merge everything together and just lighten up all those powders I used. Um, just so my skin kind of looks like I haven't even put powder on it, but I have put powder on it so it'll last really nicely, but it'll look really nice and fresh and creamy. You know what, now that I did that it looks like so much better instantly. Okay, wish me luck for this eye makeup I'm about to attempt. It's not going to look the same as this girl, Jen Seren. Is that how I pronounce it or is Seren? Jen Seren? Dunno, but her makeup is insane. I am obsessed with her feed. Go follow her. This is her username. Go follow. She is ridiculous. I'm going to take my Me, Myself and Mitchell palette and I'm also going to be using P. Louise Basic Bright. This is the shade Rude Boy Red and I'm also going to use Winter Rose. So liner and then like lid color. Taking the red. Literally just going straight in with red. Like I don't know what I'm thinking but let's go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Obsessed with the color. Whoops. I just dipped in the pink by accident as well as the red so. <laughs> So hers is like super sharp, like she's concealed after doing her eye makeup, which is very intelligent. I should have done my eye makeup first today, and I didn't. So I'm not going to be able to get that same exact 
like ridiculously sharp look so we'll just do a soft blend I'm not gonna keep it going all the way out my temple like she did because yeah I can't now I'd have to add more concealer and honestly I just feel like I've got so much like stuff on my cheeks right now that I don't really want to do that I'm gonna take a fresh brush this one you know has heaps of red on it so I just want something else like a clean one this is the Charlotte crease brush by so beauty and I'm gonna go on top and blend the edges some more and you'll get some product on your actual brush as you do this so just continuously blending the edges until it's really soft can you hear my rave music in the background okay once i've done that i'm just going to go back in one more time with the red where did i put my brush right there intensify the lower region of that color closer to my crease then go back in with the clean brush Now I'm going to go in with one of my favourite brushes to like do cut creases with. This is the Jewel Petal Brush by So Beauty and I just squeeze the brush. This is freshly washed so squeeze it. And I'm going to take the Winter Rose colour. Then on top of it I'll probably put on ooh, some milkshake. Um, maybe mix these two together. I'm not sure. But that's what I'll be using on the lid. These colours together are so cool. My red isn't really red. It's it's basically pink, like a hot pink, but it still looks cute. My gosh, these colors are so cool together. See, when I do a look like this, I'm like, oh, why don't I do like super colorful looks more often? Because, oh my gosh, they're just so stunning to look at. More or less. Going ahead and I am setting it with just the light pink called Milkshake. And since this is just inspired by um, Jen Seren, Seren, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce anything. Um, my MO will twist on it and use some more colours from this palette because Muffin is calling my name right now. I've got this angled eye brush and sometimes when I feel like the eye shows a little bit patchy in places, I love taking this exact brush. It works so good and just taking a little bit of pigment on it and just tapping it into place not even blending or doing any kind of motion just tap 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 and it just helps to like make it look more opaque and still blended so I'm just adding more pigment by doing that might take just a little bit of it underneath the eye just on the outer kind of corner actually let's go all the way across thinking about it I don't know if this will work because this is more of like a primer product um, rather than an eyeliner and we don't want it to like move or smudge, we want something that'll set really well. So let me see what else I have in my collection. We have hot pink, but I just feel like it's not the same. Like I just feel like we need red, right? So I do have a ColourPop one, it's a little bit darker. I don't know, this one here. I think it's probably all right, let's try it, it's Venus. Do I have a ColourPop liquid one? Oh my God, I do. I might try this first and then just go over it with the cream if I need to, because I'm so scared I'm gonna like screw it up so this is in the shade try me by colourpop which is a very similar colour to the cream oh that's cool oh my gosh the lighting though this eyeliner is a little bit difficult to wear it with I'm not gonna lie like this would be better but I just don't want to risk it with the application I feel like it'll be a mere to fix. It's like the ink doesn't flow to the very tip of the pen, it's just kind of stuck in the base, so I'm not getting a super sharp line. I'm kind of drawing on this card here, I'm trying to like get it to run evenly, but it just doesn't seem to want to. Eyeliner is a little bit patchy, but I've done the best I can. Pretty happy overall. Like, I feel like. Her blending is like 10 out of 10 better, but who knows. Just gonna add a little bit of muffin to the inner corner. A little bit on the brow bone. I'm gonna pop on my lashes and mascara and I'll be right back. Here's the after. Oh, I forgot how much I love these lashes. I haven't worn faux mink ones from Exo Beauty in ages. These are Troublemaker and can we just appreciate how stunning these are? Hopefully they're all attached all good. Um, they've just been stuck on. I just used my XOBD lash adhesive. And I kind of cut them so that they 
were on the outer like I don't know like two-thirds like I left like this very inner bit bare so that they really like elongate my eye all right so next up oh, my butt stuck to the seat because I'm wearing short shorts and I just like tan just like I want to do the ombre kind of lip um and I need to do my brows so I already used some of this the brow freeze but I might just see if I need some more on there oh and a little bit of Nabla magic liner quickly Anastasia brow freeze. And then I'm gonna show you what I do next if I need some extra fill in. Oh my gosh, the lighting. <laughs> so that time of year, as soon as like it's summertime, I mean not summertime, as soon as summertime is over I should say, as soon as it's heading into autumn winter, that's when the lighting gets extra trash. Don't know why, don't know. Obviously, it's the position, the angle of the sun and everything, but it's, like, annoying. Anyways, so I'm taking my Shape and Shade Brow Tint in Taupe. I mentioned this in my yearly favorites. And I'm just flicking it through. And this will add little, like, brow hairs. Do you see? Can you see the difference? Probably barely. But it's just so natural. And it works amazing with the brow freeze, just an FYI. And I'm not worried about it looking too perfect, because... I love the old bushy brows at the moment, feathery brows. I only need to do that really if I get foundation and stuff in my eyebrows. Usually I avoid my eyebrows when I'm doing my makeup, but um, today, yeah, I did get a bit of blush and, you know, blah, 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 what is it, <laughs> foundation, concealer, stuff. Um, anyways, so that's how the makeup's looking. Lip time, I'm gonna try and find like a red and then ombre it into a pastel pinky color. Let's go Olive by Exo Beauty. My favorite red liner. Oh, the washing machine's finished. Does your guys' washing machine make like a really pretty song when it finishes? It's like ding 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 ding. So we're doing like a thick line. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I'm trying to find a lipstick the similar color to my eyelids, which illusion I'm thinking. This would be a lesion. Using the brush I use on my eyes. The jewel petal brush. I love it. I reckon that looks dope. Knowing me though, gloss. I need some gloss. Maybe a little touch of my Lifter Gloss by Maybelline in the shade. I don't know. Oh, Reef. Playing a little bit and then blotting it out. Oh, that's pretty. Um, highlighter, almost forgot. Let's do something colourful. I'm going to use my Danessa Myricks Beauty Illuminating Veil Highlighter in Paradise. So I'm going to pump some on my hand like this. And then take a little bit on my fingertip. And then apply it where I want it and then blend it out with like a clean finger. This is so cool tone, but I still think it looks cool. Even though like the pinks and the reds that I'm using today are quite warm. Over top of that, I might just go in with like a little bit of a warmer color just to try and make it blend a little more. It looks cool though, like I reckon. Might just use the Huda Beauty um, Nymph highlighting powder, all over highlighting powder. And just blend the edges. Oh my God, that is <laughs> so bright. It worked a charm though. They look straight in my hair. I like wore it up at the gym and this whole part of my hair like got crimped and it just looks really awkward. But here is the finished look. So I don't know how I feel about the TikTok hack. Don't think it's really for me. I prefer just to, you know, put cream blush on top of my cream foundation and just leave it at that. I think it still looks natural and still looks bomb. I don't see the point. I am obsessed with this eye makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you love crazy looks like this or you prefer tutorials with like more natural products or a blend of both. Oh, I want to do my 80s look really soon too. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I uploaded my 70s look. So I'll pop that down below for you guys. I loved it like so much. That's the last colorful look I did. And so I'm kind of looking forward to the 80s too because there's a bit of color there, isn't there? I'm pretty sure. I need to do some research, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching like always. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.